Floating pennywort is a freshwater invasive aquatic plant and it's causing huge issues in clubs and fisheries across the UK. So it came in the 1990s. And what it does is once it's established in the system, it creates these really thick mats. So that um, on the surface of the water. So that means that the, water, uh, the light can't get through. Uh, it means that the native plants underneath the surface, they die back. You lose that habitat structure for the invertebrates, the insects and that means loss of food for fish, also means lots of habitat for fish. And when it gets really dense, it can result in localised uh, decreases in oxygen levels. So this is why we should really want to tackle this species and it's really important to, as soon as you discover it, to report it. My name's Emily Smith, I'm the Environment Manager at the Angling Trust. And we're here today to produce a video for you on floating pennywort, telling you about why you should care about it, how to ID it and then what to do if you come across it. So how do you ID it? Um, sometimes it can be quite complicated um, from, from the outset when you first think about the species, but actually there's a couple of really key features that you can look at and spot when you're out in the bank and then kind of narrow down, it's likely that it will be that, that species. So the first one, if you're out and about, just look on the top of the surface to see if you see quite a bright green plant on the water surface, then that kind of gets your head in the game, immediately think this could be floating pennywort. And then when you get down close, what you'll notice is a kidney-shaped leaf. Um, so with the water kind of flowing through it, you'll find it in the slow flowing margins, maybe behind uh, a fallen down tree, for example. And you'll see there's a slight split in the leaf. So I always think either kidney-shaped or Pac-Man, whichever works best for you. Um, and then you'll have kind of a jagged edge, almost like a child drawing a cloud. So three to kind of seven of these jagged edges, as you can see kind of in the images that we're showing. And also, if you look directly below the plant, you'll see that the stem joins at that um, break in the leaf. So that, when you're immediately looking at it, can get your head in the game and think that is likely going to be this species. So if you think you've got floating pennywort, what you should do is report it. So go on to iRecord, so you can do that on your website, uh, on the website or on your phone, and take a photo, note your location, and that means that the the landowners, the other people nearby can come out and start managing that species. And if you're interested in that, in that yourself, we have some really useful information of doing a lot of work at the Angling Trust on managing floating pennywort at the moment. So please get in contact with us if you want more information. The final thing that you should do, and this goes for any site that you go to, is after you've been fishing, make sure you follow the Check Clean Dry campaign. So these are three really simple steps you can follow to make sure that you are reducing the risk of any species being spread between sites. So the first step is just check, check your boots, check your kit, remove any plant or any mud material that you might find and leave it at that location. The second one is really thoroughly clean it. So ideally using hot water because that will actually kill off the, the plant material, any insect, anything like that. And, and do that um, 45 degrees for 15 minutes, immersing or spraying it down um, when you get home or if they've got anything at the fishery. And the final one is dry it. So leave it out in the sunlight, ideally for 48 hours. And then once that's completed, your kit is then clean um, and able to be used elsewhere. So remember those key features, um, what to do, report it if you find it, and always follow the Check Clean Dry campaign. Thank you.